Finally, it happened. My trading system got me in a drawdown. Why am I saying finally and why I'm actually extremely happy about it? Plus, trade by trade update on the equity curve coming right up. So stay tuned. What's up guys and welcome back to the video. So why am I saying that I'm finally in the drawdown and why am I being extremely happy about it? But I'm not, you know, psyched about it, but I'm, I'm kind of happy. And there is a reason why. Well, you see, unlike everybody else on the social media, I'm one of the few traders that is transparently sharing the wins and losses. And I'm saying that Forex trading is simple, but it's not easy. And although a lot of people are claiming that they can flip the accounts and make ton, ton of money overnight, I'm saying exactly the opposite thing. It's very hard to make a lot of money in a very short period of time. That Forex trading is a long-term game. And in my opinion, to be a professional trader and to stay here for a long run, you gotta experience that drawdowns because they're natural things. Like just like everything else in there, in life, do you have your up, up, you know, up times, you know, when the, everything is going so good for you, and then you have your drawdowns where you're not that happy about things in your life. And that's the thing with the trading as well. You're, when you're equity curve, when you're growing that account, you're being happy, right? And then when the drawdown occurs, you actually need to be happy, especially when it's for the first one, it will challenge you. It will, it will make you stronger after you go through it just like everything else in life. So that's why I'm happy about it. It's my first live drawdown. I was up like over one and a half, almost 2% on my live trading since I started. However, you know, I was thinking, how will I, how will I manage the drawdown? What, what kind of feelings will happen to me? What will I go through? Uh, will I be able to stick with my trading plan, you know, without involving emotions so that I can get out of the drawdown? Because my vision for this entire year, I, I didn't set to grow the account. I said my, my goal for this year with the trading was to follow my plan. You know, that's all. And to see at the end of the year where my plan will get me. That's the whole thing that I want to do this year. I don't want to grow the account. I just want to follow my trading plan step by step, trade by trade without making any mistakes, hoping that it will make me profitable by the end of the year. And with that being said, I want to show you my trade so far. It was around 30 trades. So I want to show you trade by trade the equity curve, how we go, went up, down, up, 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 stand here, got like um, making a sideways movement, just like consolidation in the market. And then we are in a drawdown right now where we lost everything that we made in the first quarter in last few trades because we hit a couple of big losers. So with that being said, let's get to the charts and let's see what the charts has for us. Alrighty guys, so as you can see here on chart is my actually all of my trades. As I said, there are 29 trades here and the first trade that I took on live account where I started journaling my trades was on the 2nd of, no, it's the 5th of February 2019. And you can see that, the, let me zoom this in a little bit, that this year I netted minus 81 pip on the 29 trades. Profit factor is obviously negative because I'm in a drawdown right now and uh, that I have won 55% of trades, 4% of my trades were break even trades or scratch trades, and I took 41% of losers. However, if I'm winning 55% of time, why am I in a drawdown? Why am I negative right now? Well, because my average losses so far have been bigger than the average win. So that's why I'm hitting a losing streak. So that's why I'm losing more than I'm winning when I'm winning. Because you know, there is not a lot of data data here. So over the long run, this will obviously, the average win will be bigger. At least that's what my backtested system says me to do, that it will happen. So, and that's it. That's a lot of data, data here that you can see. And you can see here the small like equity curl, how we went down when we were beginning. And then we went up, 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 moving sideways. Haven't made the actual new high since this peak right there. And then we finally we are in drawdown right here. But besides this equity curve, I have a bigger one that I want to show you that I created. And here it is. Let me just zoom in. There we go. Trade by trade stats 
from bada bim bada boom system the system the way that i'm calling it as you can see so we began on 5th of uh february 2019 and we didn't start good first trade was immediately losing trade then we had a small win then another big loser and then we kind of got out of the dr that small drawdown at the beginning and then went up all the way for 169 pips right here here and then we made a losing a losing trade and we move we were moving sideways moving up moving down moving down moving up moving down moving up and so back and forth back and forth all the way to the 8th of april so the first quarter we were up like one one and a half percent roughly and then the beginning of the second quarter i just and i was just hitting loser so one loser the second big loser one small winner loser and another big loser which you know which moved me down for three percent from uh, my equity highs was 150 pips now i'm down 81 pip plus i'm still in one trade that i want to show you on the aussie usd which was a uh, let me show you one the trade okay how can i give me a sec here so this is a trade that i took as you can see it was the x this is the x point a to b uh, x to a a to b b to c and c the completion right here the uh, the trade did trigger me uh started moving up to my target to one however it didn't it didn't it just you know uh sellers were stronger so they pushed me down and the price action started rallying back up from this price point so I, i'm in this trade for over how, how many hours i don't know 20 almost a day yeah over a day right now so we will see what's going to happen easter is coming so i don't know the market has been very very slow today from the looks of it it can as, may, uh, as well continue down because we did close below this structural level so natural the price made a pullback made a new lower low lower close and i'm expecting actually price action to come here and test these levels however but based on my back-tested plan i should not close this trade so i'm just sticking with it it might as well you know made a, a double bottom right here and then rally back up so i'm not gonna close this trade but if i'm gonna lose in this trade i'm gonna lose 40 more pips so my maximum drawdown based on my uh starting uh, account equity and starting you know risk to reward and risk settings is around five to six percent so i think that we are halfway there and i hope that i will not hit the maximum one but it definitely gonna be an interesting experience and i'm extremely happy about it solely because you know after i go through it i will have more strength more feelings for the market and it's gonna be a natural thing so i was extremely looking forward to go through the first drawdown as soon as possible because when i go back from the drawdown in the profit and then this year being profitable i will have more confidence in my trading and in the, everything that i've been uh, working towards for the past three years and guys with that being said i hope you find value in this video because this is actually what the real traders go through you know the uh, tr real trading professional trading is not like everything green and going up with the equity uh, with the equity just like each and every trade that you hit you have to go through these kind of drawdowns maybe smaller maybe bigger depending on your risk settings but that's the whole point you gotta accept this accept it as a part of trading and that's why i'm recording this video and if you like this kind of a content i do this educational videos two to three times per week i upload a daily forex market analysis almost every day when we get action in the market like we did and so if you like this kind of content please consider subscribing if you're new to this channel if you're not my subscriber also consider smash that bell button click the like button and share the video so that as many people as possible can see what the real trading is all about thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon bye bye